Hello guys, in this video I want to show you an interesting polymorphic relationships practical example that I've noticed in an open source project called Advising App that we've been reviewing on this channel for quite a while from different angles. And first, while browsing the code, I've noticed this one, this one highlighted line. So the first tip even before polymorphic relations is that it is possible to chain methods and properties like this with PHP 8 so-called null safe operator. So notifiable in this case, it's a notification class. So notifiable is a user model probably. Then we get the teams of that user, probably many to many relationship, then first team, then division of that team, then notification setting of that division and setting value from that object. On each of that chain part, that may be nullable. So what if user doesn't have teams? What if there's no division? What if that division doesn't have settings? In all those cases, that whole sentence would return null. Instead of throwing PHP error and instead of writing a lot of if statements here in this function. So this is the first kind of quick tip before polymorphics. And you can read, by the way, more about that null safe operator. I recommend Brent from Stitcher about all the features of PHP. He explains it brilliant. And I will link that in the description below. Now, polymorphics. So this notification setting is actually a model in that application. So app models notification setting, which has these fields of name and primary color. As I understand, it's just what will be included in the email. So what will be primary color of that email, for example. Or it's also possible they use Spotty Media Library. So it's also possible to add logo to that notification settings. Basically, it's a multi-tenant application and each tenant will get their own notifications with their own logo name of the company and primary color. And then here, what we see is divisions. And this is where we have polymorphic with many to many. So the same notification setting may belong to many divisions in this case. And it is described by two fields related to type and related to ID. That type means that it doesn't necessarily have to be a division. Just in this case, one of the usages is division. But maybe in the future, there will be identical alternative method like teams, for example. And then since it's many to many relationship, there should be a pivot table. And in this case, we specify that notification setting pivot. And we have a specific model for that because it needs to have ID. I'm not entirely sure about the reason. But if we open that pivot table, it has additional fields. So it has timestamps and UUIDs, which means it is possible to track when that notification setting for specific division was created or updated. I don't have this project launched locally or anywhere in the cloud, so I cannot really show you visually how it looks, but I hope you get the idea. There's a set of settings which may belong to many divisions or many of something else in the future. So this would be the case for using polymorphic relations with many to many. In the description below, I will also link a few more resources about that. In the past, I also talked about this topic both on video and in text format. So you can read more by following those links. And of course, subscribe to the channel to get more practical examples like this one from advising app on GitHub. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.